راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأتباعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah the compassion and the merciful All praise is due to Allah the Almighty and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and all of his followers until the day of resurrection. Welcome to this new episode of the series of Tafsir Level 2 at Zad Academy. And we are continuing the Tafsir of Surat and Nazi'at. We already talked about um, uh, 26 ayahs in this surah now starting with ayah 27 to ayah 33 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran أَأَنْتُمْ أَشَدُّ خَلْقًا أَمِ السَّمَاءُ بَنَاهَا رَفَعَ سَمْكَهَا فَسَوَّاهَا وَأَغْطَشَ لَيْلَهَا وَأَخْرَجَ ضُحَاهَا وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَا أَخْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَاءَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا وَالْجِبَالَ أَرْسَاهَا مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ The meaning of these uh, uh, ayahs is this. Are you a more difficult creation or is the heaven? Allah constructed it. He raised its ceiling and appropriate and proportioned it. And He darkened it, darkened its night and extracted its brightness. And after that, he spread the earth. He extracted it from it, from it. He extracted from it its water and its pasture. And the mountains he set firmly as provision for you and your grazing livestock. This is, these are the ayahs 27 to 33. Now, what, did, what each ayah would mean and be interpreted as the following. Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala, are you a more difficult creation or is the heaven? Allah constructed it. This is a comparison between the creation of the human being and uh, the creation of the heaven, as sama That is uh, recreating you after death more difficult than creating the heaven now, he created you and created the heaven. Now, is it after your death, would it be more difficult for you to, to be recreated than to create the, the, the heaven? Uh, the meaning is, the one who is able to create the heaven is also able to recreate you after death. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constructed it, meaning constructed the uh, heaven, uh, it's, uh, it's a structure of a, uh, of a firmament, firmament, very, very strongly, very uh, uh, nicely, uh, in, in a perfect way. He raised its ceiling, that is, he built it high. And the word semk, semk is, is like ceiling, when it actually semk meaning to... Uh, uh, something that is uh, uh, raising something that is an open space, whether this is raised in, connect, uh, in connection with the earth or without any connection. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the heaven without any uh, connection to the earth, without any base or something uh, to depend on. So it's not, it's, it's, it's in the open space. Uh, so connecting the verb rafa'a, uh, he raised to the object semk, 
is the name of which also refers to raising it, it done by emphasizing, is by way of emphasizing the action of raising. So he, the semk is to raise, and uh, of course rafa'a is to raise. So both uh, give the same meaning to show that the sky and the heaven is so high, uh, thus the heaven is vastly raised. That's, that's the meaning. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and proportioned it, meaning he created it appropriately with no imperfection, cracks, or gaps, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He made it in the perfect way. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and he darkened its night. Um, he made its night dark by causing the sun to set. So that is أغطشة. أغطشة to uh, actually make it dark. And he extracted its brightness, meaning this is uh, referring to the uh, uh, forenoon, that is a duha and that is the, 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 uh, the best time of the day, and that's why the brightness becomes so shining, and the sun so, becomes so shining, starting from a duha and because it, it would be uh, with a little light uh, as, a t- as the sun rises, but as, as the duha comes, which is in the forenoon, the sun is, is, is filling, but it's nice also. It's not hot. It's not uh, above your head, but rather it's uh, spreading uh, uh, light, but it's still not, uh, not heat. Uh, and that's why Allah mentioned al-duha, wa'akhraja duhaha. So the brightness is referred to that in that uh, as a brightness. And the word, uh, and after that he spread the earth. So he referred creating to the heaven, he spread out the earth. So talking about the heaven and spreading after the, uh, he created the, the heaven, he actually spread out the earth. The word translated here as spread, daha, is to spread, where you level something and make it smooth. He extracted from it its water, and pasture. وَالْأَرْضَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ دَحَاهَ أَخْرَجَ مِنْهَا مَاءَهَا وَمَرْعَاهَا So after he made it so uh, smooth and leveled it so people can walk on it and, and use it properly, actually he extracted from that the water that burst uh, forth from, from the earth and caused the grass and vegetation to, to grow on it. So that's these are the kinds of uh, first to, to prove that the Day of Judgment is coming and Allah is able to, 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 to do that uh, in this life and also for the enjoyment of people as Allah says subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, as provision for you and your, uh, uh, life, your grazing livestock. So Allah made all of this for you in order to, to benefit, in order to uh, enjoy uh, so it's for your benefit and for your enjoyment all at the same time for both of you, you and your animals uh, that you benefit from and you use in your, in your life. So what are the uh, lessons that we, we learn from that? Well, Surah uh, Fussilat, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indicated that the uh, heavens were, uh, uh, the, the earth was created first. As Allah says, say, do you indeed disbelieve in he who uh, created the earth in two days? And then Allah says, then he directed himself to the, uh, to the heaven while it was smoke. So first he created the earth and then uh, he directed himself to to uh, to heaven, while there was smoke, and then Allah says, uh, "The heavens, Allah constructed it, and after that He spread it." Um, so here, so that's in Fusilat, but here, uh, Allah says, first He 
uh, uh, created the, the, the heaven, and then he created the earth. So is there a contradiction? Actually, there is no contradiction in these, in these uh, two ayahs because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned that, yes, first he created uh, the earth, then he created the heaven, and then, when, and then uh, again the earth uh, was spread out. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them in that order back again to the earth where the earth was, was spread out and it was made ready to live on. So there is no contradiction. In fact, that is the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his own creation. And uh, actually, he has uh, the power over everything subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, uh, the uh, activities of this is imagine that you are defending Allah's religion. Um, two points. You are debating with someone who denies the resurrection. What are the things you will quote as evidence that people will uh, be resurrected on the day of resurrection? Look at the, uh, uh, these uh, ayahs all proving that Allah subhanahu will create uh, first because, uh, you know, logically, if Allah was able to create the heaven and then create you uh, uh, in the beginning, would he not be able to uh, recreate you, to bring you back to life after he created you? all this uh, big, great heaven uh, above you? Uh, was he, he created that. Wasn't he able to, to create? So that's, that's the... Uh, and then talking about the earth and what he made in, in, in earth... Uh, and he brought uh, uh, the sun and the night, the day and the night. And he made this earth so leveled and smooth. Uh, he brought forth uh, the water uh, for you to enjoy and to benefit from. And also the vegetation that comes. And actually, if the earth, which is the, the place where people will be resurrected from, actually... Uh, was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this life brought uh, water and vegetation out of the earth when he be able to uh, again raise the dead from within the, uh, the earth as well on the day of resurrection. So that is uh, the, um, something that we can answer with. You may add to that if you will. And then uh, secondly, you are debating with someone who uh, casts some doubts uh, on the Quran by saying, that uh, or saying that there are contradictions in the glorious Quran uh, regarding Surah Fussilat, uh, where the uh, earth was uh, built first, and then in Surah Al-Nazi'at, where it was mentioned that uh, the heaven was uh, built first. So which one? Is, is there a contradiction? And we already answered that. We talked about there is no contradiction because Allah built the, uh, the earth first and then the heaven, and then... Uh, uh, the earth was spread out and made leveled and smooth for people to live on and to enjoy. So, and then finally, uh, uh, draw a line from each word, phrase uh, A to uh, uh, B, uh, which matches it. Uh, its ceiling. What is, what is its ceiling? Is it uh, its structure? Yes, of course. Uh, darkened, made dark. Spread out is spread out, spread it, spread out, and set firmly, made firm. <laughs> MashaAllah. I mean, the word itself, because in Arabic they might, might look different, but in English they're basically same because actually when we translate, we give the meaning, and here it's the same meaning as well. So that uh, brings us to the end of today's episode. I hope I, to, I hope to see you, inshallah, in the coming episode of this series of Tafsir. Until I see you, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. And I wish you all the best in learning more about the glorious Quran and its interpretation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ومعه مطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد
زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان